Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Max Bang. My name is Max and I like to drink coffee. Max Bang is a half hour hangout. Some smooth radio. I always say smooth jazz, but I guess it's more smooth radio voice. <laughs> Some smooth radio voice. Let's so grab a cup of coffee, take a seat. And how's your mother? The idea with these is to take a half hour to just chill out and hopefully build a community. Today, we are drinking Emergent Tea. Uh, (laughs) Emergent Tea is a concoction that I came up with, even though it's not exactly a... It's not a complicated concoction. It's like someone who came up with a vodka soda. I would say it's slightly less interesting than that. Emergent tea, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that don't know, where have you been, guy? For those of you that don't know, emergent C, emergent C packets. It was like a fizzy packet of um, vitamin C concentrate. It was, I mean, I think it was popularized in my lifetime. I never, I never heard of it like growing up. I, I only knew of it when I was an adult. Um, you take a packet, you dump it into some water, you drink it. It's a, you know, thousand percent, ten thousand percent of your daily dose of vitamin C. It's essentially uh, a multivitamin mixed with a little bit of Alka Seltzer. Although I think Alka Seltzer has um, actual drugs in it. Ibuprofen, acetaminophen. I don't remember. It either has Advil and Tylenol in it. Um, Alka Seltzer does. Alka Seltzer was a pack because you drop it into a water. These were more billed as like a non-pain pill, but definitely vitamin full, vitamin rich, and so people would drink it for uh, if you're feeling sick. Now I used to drink it when I was feeling sick all the time. But I realized that I didn't like it in cold water. So I used to put it in, boil some water and make some tea with it. Hence the name, Emergent Tea mixed with hot water. I'm sorry, Emergent Sea mixed with hot water makes Emergent Tea. Also as a bonus, a lot of times if you mix it with hot water, it uh, fizzles up faster, dissolves faster. So emergent tea that was my go-to i'm feeling sick uh better make some emergent tea at the office that was always really my move it was also really good for hangovers (laughs) case in point i am extremely hungover right now it is funny a quick sidebar it is funny like the amount of uh, products that were marketed for one thing and then the hangover community decided, no, no, this is marketed towards the hangover community. For example number one, emergency. Example number two, um, Pedialyte. Pedialyte is a, uh, it's, it's like a juice drink for babies. It's supposed to help them rehydrate it's for when they have diarrhea or they're throwing up all the time or whatever. And they get dehydrated, and so you're supposed to give them Pedialyte. It's like a gross-tasting Gatorade. That's not true. It's like a Gatorade with not a good flavor. It's like a syrupy Gatorade. A lot of people think it's gross. You know what? It is gross unless you're hungover, and it's the nectar of the gods. And my, my lord, it is fucking delicious. Uh, my hangover cures typically are one banana, and in a perfect world, one banana, one Pedialyte, Advil, a lot of sleep, boom, roasted. Uh, I am currently incredibly hungover. <laughs> I celebrated Brittany's birthday. The fuck was that? Somebody's riding speeder bikes down the roadway. Celebrated Britney's birthday a day early. Her actual birthday is tomorrow. Today when this when this video comes out, so make sure to go vid- wish her a happy birthday. Uh, we celebrated her birthday yesterday with a little, you know, nice little fire pit, nice hot tub. Bottle of tequila, about a thousand White Claws. You know, casual. <laughs> um, 
So now I'm drinking my emergent tea. My old move for hangovers was to go exercise, just sweat it all out. And I think in a perfect world that still works, but I think my workout routine is all messed up now. So long story long, I got my emergent tea. Shout out to anyone who is driving to work or eating a meal. Please let me know what you're eating in the comments below. Or folding laundry. That's a good one. Before we jump into the Max Bang, I would be remiss if I didn't mention something sort of on my mind. I really wish um, people would stop shooting other people. Not to get too political on you, but... Yeah, shooting people seems to be pretty fucking fucked up, and I wish people would stop doing it, whether you're a cop or some fucking 17-year-old moron who has a, has a big old gun and a desire to, air quotes, protect people. You know, call me crazy. I just wish people would stop shooting other people. And that's been politics with Max. Uh, one question I got this week, which I was very excited about. First and foremost, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any sort of question about advice or whatever, leave it in the comments below or send me a tweet or whatever. Um, but one question I got, which I thought was actually kind of a fun one, was tell me about your prom. Whoa, throwback. That's, uh, oh wait, that's not a good one. How about... Um, that's a thumbnail. So my prom, holy moly. Um, I went to a couple of proms, not to brag. Uh, my school had dances. So we had semi-formal dance, formal prom, whatever. And then you had the junior prom, the senior prom, and then you had friends at other schools and their prom wasn't on the same day or blah, 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 blah. So I went to a couple of proms. My my number one, I guess when I was a, when I was a senior, I had a girlfriend. <sighs> so score that one for me. Uh, I had a girlfriend, and I went to the prom with her, and it was very fun. Friend of ours, we went with that one couple who made their entire. The girl made her prom dress, and the guy made his prom tux out of duct tape <sighs> which even then I always thought like yeah man that's cool it's cool you're weird but like it it reeked of that thing that I f fucking couldn't stand back then I can't stand now it's something I really try to fight because I know it's more of a me problem than a someone else problem uh, but it's a real big fucking pet peeve of mine when someone's like I'm weird um, look at, look at how fucking weird I am, bro. Like, look at this f weird fucking haircut I got, or look at this weird, like face tattoo or like, I feel like I don't mind people being weird. I'm fucking weird. So, so are you, you know, we're all weird in our own way. What bugged me out was the weird that's like demanding attention. Weird. Like you can be, guess what, dude, you can be fucking weird silently you can be weird at home in your room by yourself. You don't need to be weird with like a, like a, like a four foot tall Mohawk. You know what I mean? That walk, you know, that like you have to duck your head as you walk in and out of a doorway. Like you don't need to be weird. Like, uh, like screamo music, um, like playing on speaker on your iPhone. You know what I mean? You can wear headphones and listen to that fucking shit. You know what I mean? To me, what was so annoying was, I, okay, dude, I get, I get it. You're weird. Look at you. You're alternative. You're not fucking mainstream, but like, don't, don't demand attention for it. And that's, and again, I think it's more of a me problem than anything else. But when people did weird shit like that, I'd always be like, all right, dude, I get it. Whatever. Just fuck off. So anyway, <laughs> one of the guys in my friend group did that and it really fucking pissed me off. And you know what? Like, yeah, dude, it's cool. You can make a whole suit or dress out of duct tape. I had a wallet out of duct tape. I loved it for a long, long time. Duct tape's cool. Duct tape isn't breathable as a, as a fabric, as a body covering. You can't fucking move in it. You can't, you certainly can't fucking dance in it. It was really just 
I guess it was about the picture and all respect to that. That's pre Instagram days. I mean, I'm sure, you know, doing stuff for the gram before the gram existed. That's fucking futuristic next level multiverse flash shit. But I don't know. It fucking drove me crazy. Anyway, forget him. I don't even remember the kid's name because I'm so mad at him. Eric. <laughs> fucking Eric. Whatever. He's a nice guy. Whatever. Next prom, I'll do something different. Anyway, went to the prom. It was really fun. Uh, we had the only sort of memorable part of the prom was the after party, obviously. Uh, we went to the... <laughs> We went to this poor girl's house. Very nice girl. Lived sort of in the in like the middle of nowhere, like on a, not quite on a farm, but like pretty close, which is weird for Boston. Uh, we were sort of, as I recall, we were sort of scrambling to find a place for the after party. Couldn't find anywhere, and finally, this one girl you know was like okay fine we can do it at my house but um you know we just can't get too crazy <laughs> so of course we all went there and we got real too crazy now too crazy for our high school i was you know we were pretty tame we weren't uh you know this isn't like hollywood california you know hollywood stars i've been watching a lot of gossip girl it's not like crazy for 17 year old billionaire gossip girls we, we were crazy for like we had a bunch of bud lights you know, maybe some weed. Ooh. But even then, it was like fucking grass, dirt, weed. So anyway, we're going a little too crazy. We uh drinking a lot of Bud Lights. Guys are guys are showing off how much beer they can drink because that's that's what's cool to the gals. Gals are standing there in their North Face fleece jackets. One of the smartest things we did was we changed out of our clothes after prom. We got into regular clothes and before we started partying. Anyway. So we're, we're, we're hitting the party, wicked hot. Everybody's drinking Bud Lights. Everybody's showing off. Just, we're, I'm talking chugging beers. I'm talking getting drunk. I'm talking talking to girls. You know, really crazy stuff. <laughs> so anyway, eventually, this poor girl's parents come home, and they're like, okay, what the fuck is this? Everybody out. Or you know what? Nobody's out. Everybody stay here. Like, no one's leaving. We're taking all your keys. You're staying here. But we're, we're done drinking. In retrospect, it was a pretty, pretty fucking cool move on the parents' part. Like, <laughs> like not even that mad that we, we, didn't really, we didn't really trash their house. We were just sort of like a lot of people. But for them to be like, no one's driving. You're all sleeping here. I mean, I would, you know, that's my house. I'm like, get the fuck out. Call 50 cabs. I don't give a fuck. Call a bus. I don't know. Just get the fuck out of here. They were sort of really nice looking back on it. Shout out to you guys. Appreciate it. So anyway, <laughs> as they come down, they're, or as they come back to the house, they're like, all right, everyone, we're done drinking. Go to bed. And what do we do? We scatter. <laughs> people started like jumping out of windows. And by people, I mean me. Uh, grabbing as many beers as you can hold, just diving face first out of a window like like it's a Jackie Chan movie or whatever. Me and my wonderful, beautiful, at the time, girlfriend, and not that she's not beautiful now, but my, my lovely girlfriend uh, jump out, <laughs> dive out of a window, and we sort of like run into the woods. And we're both, you know, we're holding beers and everything's falling apart. It's, it's like a nightmare. And so anyway... I don't know what happened to everybody else. Me and the girl sort of start running. And then at one point, I sort of feel like I'm going to fall because it's like a, a, a small hill, but still a hill. And if you're running in the dark, not, not so easy to run in the dark. So anyway, I run and I like stumble a little bit and I fall. And I'm like, oh, shit. Bang. And I catch myself on a tree and I'm hanging on the tree and I'm looking down. And I get a handful of beers and I'm looking down and I'm like, oh, uh, like I almost fell into a, like a, a river, not a big river, but like a small stream. Like, and I don't, thank God I didn't fall into this stream. I'd be soaking wet, you know? And then I'm like, I look a little closer and I slip and then I like slip and I stumble and I take a fall and I step onto the stream and wouldn't, you know, it, it's not a stream. It's just a, a road and it's pavement. And I'm like, wow, I'm an idiot and I can't see anything and I'm drunk and I don't know what the hell is going on. So 
we better figure it out quick or else I'm in deep trouble. So anyway, long story long. <laughs> we go into a, like a field and we sort of, I f- like, I don't know how we did it, but um, we ended up like finding the, I, I had driven a car there bef- before drinking, obviously. I'd driven my car there and we found the car and we ended up just like sleeping in the car. It's SUV, thank God. Sleeping in your car sucks. But we did it. And um, in the morning, I woke up. Here's the shitty part about sleeping in your car. A couple of things. One, you're kind of a fucking loser if you have to do it. I've done it many, many a time. So, you know. Two, it's very uncomfortable. Unless you have like a fucking... And unless you drive in like a school bus. It's very uncomfortable. If you're in, you're in good shape if you can put the, like the seats down, but even then you can't really like get comfortable. Three, it's hot. Four, it's bright. So if you're going to sleep in your car, make sure you give yourself a blindfold, take a t-shirt, whip it around, tie it around your face. And make sure if you're going to sleep in your car, you take off your jacket and just place it over you as a blanket. Otherwise you just wake up like sweat bombed. Anyway, so we woke up. And it's, we didn't do any of those things. It was one of, one of my first times. So when you wake up with the sun, you wake up with the sunrise. Hate to see it. So like whatever it is, 4, 30, 5, 30, 6 in the morning. It's so bright. I'm like, ah, I wake up. And I look around. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. I slept in, the, slept in the car. That was ridiculous. And then I look out into the field that we were, that we had like traipsed through or whatever. And it's like, there's nothing there. And then (laughs) suddenly somebody like, I see see a little movement and I'm like, oh, what is that? And somebody pops out from around a tree and I'm like, what, what? What?" And then somebody else gets up from like, from behind some grass, like a, like a commando, like a sniper commando or whatever. And then like more and more people just start popping up from this field. And I, I had like sort of a unique vantage point and long story short, wouldn't you know it? Like 55 people ended up sleeping in one big field. Nobody knew they were right next to each other. (laughs) And everybody, you know, we just made it happen. You know, we escaped the parents. We escaped the house, the lockdown. We escaped bedtime. And what did we do? We all went right to bed. So that was prom. Prom was really fun. What did you do for your prom? Let me know in the comments below. And then this week, I actually had a question for you guys. I've been having a lot of trouble myself. We talk about this a lot. We talk about sleep quite a bit. I used to think I was a tremendous sleeper. And I I am and I am not. I'm able to fall asleep very easily. I generally sleep through the night. I wake up around the same time every morning by myself, like without an alarm. The trouble I've been running into lately is that my sleep has been not great. Or let me let me rephrase. I, I don't feel like I've been getting restful sleep. Either I wake up and my, my back has been really like cricket. Like whatever side I sleep on, that side, my neck is all fucked up into my back. Uh, I wake up like hot. We just got a new air conditioner. We're, um, so it's been nice and cool in the room. But then like... My bed, if I sleep on my side, my, my air side is freezing. My bed side is hot. How do you guys feel about sleep? Is it a priority of yours? Um, lately, it's been something that I've been looking into a lot. We had somebody on the podcast who talked a lot about sleep, a sleep expert. She runs a, uh, she's a co-founder of a sleep company or a, a tech company that produces sleep pods called eight sleep and it really sort of got me thinking about different things for example one of the things that she said was caffeine which i love I, well that's that's not that's emergent tea but usually i love caffeine caffeine is um it doesn't make you less tired it just blocks your brain from appreciating how tired you are (laughs) which was a fucking total mind fuck 
doesn't make me love it any less. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop drinking caffeine any less. But really made me think about like, I like caffeine. That's fine. As a backup, shouldn't I be getting more sleep, more restful sleep? And maybe I should like put that as more of a priority. So moving forward, I think I'm going to be experimenting with different things. Better bedtimes, uh, better pillows. I don't know, more or less drugs. I don't, I almost never take any sleeping drugs because I feel like a, I don't want to get addicted to them and B, I don't want to, uh, I feel like I sleep like really almost too hard on them. I feel like I dream too hard. Um, I feel like it's harder for me to wake up in the morning. I'm always sort of groggy. Even though I wake up, I'm still sort of groggy. I had a really bad experience with Ambien. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Ambien before. Ambien is a sleeping drug that um, apparently it's very powerful, very widely sort of prescribed. But my roommate in college used the Ambien. And if you... If you take Ambien and it, it puts you to sleep right away, as I understand it, and maybe this is if you guys know more, please let me know. But as I understand it, it puts you into REM sleep no matter what. So some people figured out that if you take it and then you stay awake, you are awake and in REM sleep. So you have these fucking weird hallucinations. And um, if you smoke a cigarette with it, it really sort of triggers. Um, so you see weird shit. You hear weird shit. My roommate used to do all sorts of crazy craziness uh, on Ambien. I remember, and, and the worst part was he didn't really even tell me. <laughs> he didn't really tell me that he, this was going to happen. He just sort of took a bunch of Ambien, stayed up, and then did some fucking weird shit. I remember one time, freshman year, we had this little room. I mean, the, our, our, it's so crazy looking back on it. What am I paying? Like $250,000 to this university? And they're giving me a eight foot by eight foot concrete room with a twin bed for two guys, you know, uh, thanks. Thanks for the deal university. One time we're sleeping and, uh, I used to sleep with a, with a sleep mask. This, a lot of people have helped shape how I sleep growing up. My brother would, um, he made a lot of noise at night. And so I had to like learn how to fall asleep because it was really, he made just like a lot of noise, a loud fucking kid. In college, my roommate had a, um, he had a lamp, a super light, a super bright light lamp that was supposed to combat seasonal affective disorder. And so you turn it on, it's like looking into the fucking sun. (laughs) So I'd be like, all right, I got to go to bed. And he'd be like, all right, I got to study, but we're in one room. There's no walls, you know? So he has to turn his lamp on. So I started putting that's where i learned the 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 blindfold trick it's also (sighs) sidebar it's not a very sexy trick the t-shirt blindfold it just you look at you look fucking stupid you feel stupid so if you're gonna go blindfold for sex why don't you invest in like a a adam and eve or whatever these sex companies are anyway one night i'm sleeping shocker and uh i wake up (laughs) because wouldn't you know it he's sitting on this on the foot of my bed and I'm like, oh, uh, what's up, dude? You okay? And he's like, hey, Max. Uh, so I'm so psyched. I uh, I need you to take a look at this. And he pulls out like a sheet of paper with some scribbles on it. And I'm like, oh, uh, what am I looking at? And he's like, I've come up with a system. I've come up with this. I've come up with a system. I've come up with a system. Uh, this is our room. And I and I looked, and he had actually drawn a pretty good bird's eye bird's eye view of the layout of our room. So it's like a big square, and like these squares, he had like graph paper, and he had big squares. Our room. This square is my bed. This square is his bed. This square is my desk. This is his dresser, etc. Uh, so it was a really nice like layout map essentially. And then across it are a bunch of like spider web looking things. It's like, you know, like, um, it looked like he made a really clean architectural picture design and then he just fucking scribbled all over it. And I'm like, I see this is our room. It's very nicely done. Um, what's all this shit? And he goes, yeah, I made a, uh, a hammock system. 
I think we should get some hammocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And so I was like, yeah, I absolutely think we should get some fucking hammocks. Let's do it. Anyway, long story short, we didn't get hammocks. Uh, but uh, he had a lot of hallucinations like that. One time, another time I came back to the room from sort of sort of late at night. I was like studying at the library and I came back and he was out there uh, and he had like a sword. And I'm like, oh, what's in his underwear and a sword outside of our doorway in the hallway. And I'm like, what's up, dude? We got uh, what's going on? He goes. Who's who's oh Max? Okay, come on in. Come on, you're good. You're good. Like like a bouncer. And like he's like, You're good, come on in. I just I gotta protect us from the from the pirates. And I was like, Oh yeah, sick. That makes sense. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Anyway, I don't do a lot of hallucinogens. <laughs> <laughs> or like I don't like hallucinating. Uh but when my friends do it, it's pretty fun. And back to the point, I don't, I, you know, if you ever take Ambien, just be careful around people with Ambien. So I don't like taking a lot of sleeping pills, but I really do want to look into, um, like resting more. I feel like I, I never lately, I haven't felt fully rested in a long time. Uh, I'm going to, and I hate it and I don't even know if I can do it, but I'm really going to try that thing where you stop looking at a screen for an hour before bed. Um, and, and when you wake up, that's one of my worst habits actually, as I look at like getting, I look at my screen up until I like am falling asleep, you know, phone two inches from my face as I'm in bed, I feel myself getting tired, phone down, light off, sleep, wake up, grab phone, phone right in front of my fucking face. It's gotta be terrible for me. You know, I, it's got to be the worst. And it really feels like that That to me is a real bad habit that I'm going to break. I had a really good idea for a, uh, an accountability app, actually, uh, based, on, based on habits and habit tracking. Um, and maybe I'll try to incorporate that into this new routine that I've been doing. I don't know. It's hard. I, it, but it's an interesting sort of uh, uh, rabbit hole to go down. And, you know, because I really want to be able to get good, restful sleep. And I don't want to sleep all day like my co-host here is doing. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have an adorable dog named Jackson. Jax, 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 come here. He's dead asleep. He sleeps all freaking day. Uh, he was just bothering me to go out. So I think we're going to go for a little uh, afternoon walk. And so I think, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode this week. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you want to write uh, any questions you have for me for next episode, leave them in the comments below. Or if you want to write something, if you just want to brag, I'd like you to, I'd like you to brag a little bit, brag about something in the comments below and we can really sort of bask in your light. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching to the max bang. We'll be back next Saturday. We, uh, we put out a video every Saturday morning and until next week, keep banging.